Sometimes it's hard to get inspired to create something. So why not have a computer do it for you? Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of CGC Weekly. Now I know the usual topics that we go over here are about specifically Blender, but this is more of a tip that just en encompasses all of art together, I guess. And that is the topic of inspiration. Sometimes it's really hard while you're working to get inspired or to be able to think of a composition that might work, or sometimes you're just working and it's just not working out. There are so many things that could possibly go wrong while working that are just extremely inconvenient. That's why it helps to have a lot of sources of inspiration. For me, for example, the outside world is one of my biggest sources. Of course, sometimes it's not always practical to go outside. Maybe it's raining or it's cloudy, or perhaps there just isn't anything inspiring outside. So I wanna show you guys a really cool online tool that helps at least me get inspired that maybe will help you guys as well. Now, neural networks and AI and machine learning have been a big thing in the past few years. And this is a website that I think is particularly cool. The URL for this website is t2i.cvalenzuelab.com. I know it's a little bit confusing, so I'll put a link down below just in case. Anyway, this website is super cool because it uses an artificial intelligence to generate images based upon the text that you type into it. Now, it's not always accurate and the end results are a little bit freaky sometimes, but it's really impressive what this thing can do. For example, um, say I wanted to create a house, but I wasn't sure exactly how to compose it or what I wanted the house to be shaped like. Well, let's say small modern house architecture, right? It helps if you use very tag-like words, words that are just vaguely related, in a vivid green grass field. Just like that, we now have a really cool extremely stylized but really cool house that was just generated for us and we can recreate this in something like blender or in any other sort of artistic medium it's kind of it's kind of weird you can create a ton of things and of course it does struggle with more abstract things for example if i said uh grant from cgc weekly wearing his wonderful cgc weekly shirt we get that and that is Nothing close to what we're looking for. Um, but it really helps if you're very specific with what you want to do. For example, um, a large pizza sitting outside in the sun. There is a pizza. And of course, it does have its strengths. For some reason, this is oddly good with pizzas. Here's, here's an interesting thing that I did earlier. A really big goose, except it's weaponized like a Black Hawk helicopter and is flying over some bad guys. <laughs> and look at there. We have what appears to be a hybrid between a goose, a Black Hawk helicopter, and it's flying over some bad guys. Um, we can do all sorts of things. Um, Sci-fi gunship flying through open sky with many ships trying to attack it. I don't know. Boom. There's our sci-fi gunship with many ships trying to attack it. It's absolutely crazy what this thing can generate and how much it can inspire you. I mean, seeing something like this is one of the best ways to get inspired because it comes up with seemingly random ideas, but sometimes those ideas are good. Anyway, I know this was a tad bit different than my typical stuff that I do, um, but I still think it's important to talk about this stuff when relating to Blender or any sort of art in general. Anyway, if you guys have any sort of sites like this that generate random images or any tricks that you use to get inspired, leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to see them, and as usual, everybody else would love to see them as well. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.